Hey guys, it's Adrenal 123 again. Got Stan behind the camera, aka my phone. Uh, you're in store for another video. It's going to be rough and raw. I just got off work, so we're like rushing to get this done. Work some OT today. Anyway, we're talking about the Lone Wolf Hand Climber again. Lone Wolf Platform Saddle Combo Climber. Uh, we'll dive right into this thing. For some reason, all us saddle hunters have a problem when we climb with this beautiful thing that the band always snags the tree. Uh, a lot of guys have looked at the band to be the issue. Uh, they put like clear coat on there. Uh, some people have put electrical tape on it. Um, some guys, I think, even put a summit cable on the band. And all those mods, they might work with my mod. But uh, my take on it, it was never the band itself. Because the way I looked at it is Lone Wolf designed a climbing tree stand combo and to my knowledge nobody ever complains about the bands uh, it's just us so I started thinking to myself what are we doing different than the guys that are using the combo the only difference is they're holding this hand climber seat portion the way it was designed in their hand and uh, we have it stuck to our feet so it got me thinking, I'm like, okay, well they have no issues. Let's pretend I'm standing on a platform Lone Wolf Climber. This is how you would be. So they never have any issues with the band dragon. Look at this. Like I'm one up, you know, I'm climbing a tree. I can do I can do it with one hand. We're never gonna have any issues. We can do this, we can do this, we can adjust it, make it bigger. But us saddle hunters keep having a problem with the band dragging on the tree. So I'm a very visual person and uh, I like angles and stuff. Always been good with angles, right? So I looked at this thing real hard and I figured it out. It's all about the angle of the arms, okay? So watch this. You got that stand? Yep. Platform's nice and flat, right? We're gonna rock it like if we were climbing or point our feet down. Look at the distance of the band and the tree. Got a little measurement there? Yeah, a little measurement. We didn't bring a tape measure, so. No. Again, we're rushing and getting <laughs> it done, right? So that's maybe a couple inches, right? Somewhere yeah. around and there. And I mean, that's our issue. Now watch this. It's gonna be kind of rough because I'm gonna use my fingers. We're gonna angle the arms up. Put my fingers right here because that about puts them at my mod on my personal one. This is Stan's bone stock hand climber. So now when I go to put it back down, look at the angle of the platform. Well, I want it flat, like we just were. Yeah, so look, the angle is, let's set it back down. So you, you pitched it up by adjusting the arms. Yeah. All we did was adjust the arms at this point. Exactly. Move your finger. This is where it would originally sit right. on the platform. Okay. So now what I want to do is, I got to make the platform level again. So I have to add band. <laughs> Remember that. Add band. Add band length. So let me see if that's enough band length to bring it flat again. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, it might be that, actually, that, might be pitched down a yeah, little bit. I don't want to. Let me put it. I'll put it back. Get that band length perfect. Nope. Still down. Oh, wait a minute. Because <laughs> I don't have my uh, fingers in there. Right. <laughs> well, there you go. Move your... Um, yeah. Yep. I mean, pretty much. Might be up a hair. Maybe. Yeah. But whatever. It's not whatever. that far out. All right. So here's the point. Now, again, act like you're standing on it. You point your feet down. Look at the clearance you have now at the back of the tree. I mean, it's now... Jesus. I don't know. Six inches or so? Somewhere around there. You've, yeah. you've essentially probably tripled the amount of distance you have. Right. And look at the angle of the platform. I mean, that's typical of a standard climber when you point your feet down. Right. Of a platform. I mean, Stan and I use loggy bayous until we got into saddle hunting back in 05. I mean, this is typical. Now, look at the angle of the arms as well at this angle. They're level. So you're getting all this clearance for the band. Look at that. So as you're climbing up, 
and there you have it. So fast forward, George and I have climbed about seven trees and uh, we climbed big trees, small trees, rough trees, horrible bark, everything. And it is not grabbing, like we are happy. And uh, if you know George, he's, he said we had to test and tune it. The night I told him about it, we were out the very next day doing it. He climbed 30 feet, probably like four times. And uh, he couldn't believe it. He, we, didn't, we didn't even have to adjust the platform. Now you, gotta, you guys gotta remember, you gotta use your, your experience and your expertise from back in the days when you used traditional climbers. You gotta look at the tree, you gotta look at the taper, start out at the bottom, angle your platform. But we literally went up 30 feet and didn't even have to adjust, which was uh, pretty insane. So we'll go over here to this bigger tree, just for the heck of it. Here is my modified hand climber. I'll pull it up like this for you guys. And this is what I did. What do you think, Steve? So, put your light back up a little oh, bit. There you go. Bad. So essentially, you've taken it from resting here, yeah, to resting here on the flat part of this nut. Right. And how I got to this angle being the correct one uh, for us is I took a little piece of rubber, believe it or not, and all I did was stuck it right here in that groove. And then I pushed the arm down on it real tight. And then I took a zip tie. And I actually went hunting like that. And it worked very well. So I knew I was on to something. I knew what I wanted. But I wanted more angle. And I knew I could get away with more angle. So I was committed. So what I did was, again, I just ended up drilling a hole in this area. Putting a 5 16th bolt through there. And the first time I did it, I used two nuts. And, um, you know, if anybody does that, it works perfect. And you know, you put the flat part of the, um, the arm here on the top of the nut. It's just real nice. And uh, it worked perfect because the surface area, look how small the, the uh, stock location surface area is for the arm to sit on. It's not really like, not a lot of load bearing right there. So, you know, two nuts together were actually, they almost doubled the size. So now I'm using a um, 5 16 by one inch uh, Allen head bolt. Uh, just kind of matches the one that comes stock. And then I use, I think it's called a coupler nut and it goes all the way across and uh, it works really well. And again, we beat on this thing and uh, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, I don't know, this is a big tree, so I'll jump up real quick and uh, show you some clearance issues that uh, don't exist anymore. <laughs> uh, took off my... Uh, you need some help? Uh, maybe. I took <laughs> off my string for the video purpose. It you seems in? to be okay. You good? Yeah, we're really excited about it. And Stan, he hasn't had to deal with this horrible scenario. Yeah. So we're gonna modify his. And, uh... I'm letting them do all the test. The, all the, <laughs> I'm letting them do all the R and D, and then I'll come in later. So, you ready? Now, George and I have started on more of an angle. Like I would tighten this band up even more, and start out more in an angle. And I could go all the way up this tree with never even adjusting, which I don't have a problem adjusting. But I'm saying, so check it out. How was that, Stan? Yeah. I couldn't see on the back of the tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move in in a second anyway. I'm not lightning fast like George. <laughs> see that? Look at all that clearance back there. trees this big. <laughs> oh man.
Now I'll come back down and uh, I'll even start it off on like a killer angle. Hopefully everybody can uh, get the idea from that. This is the first time Stan's actually seen this mod in action. What do you think, man? I don't, I don't see any real downside to it. All right. Come on in and uh, adjust the band tighter. Put me on like a killer angle to start. Because, you know, trees are usually sure. tight angle. Yeah, you can do it. You can do whatever you want. Right. Check that, see what you got. All right. It's a pretty good angle. Yeah, it's a pretty good angle. All right. So, I mean, that, that angle should really, I mean, if you have a tree that's even somewhat <laughs> tapered, that angle should just about get you all the way to the tw at least 20 feet. Obviously, it depends on the taper and, and all that stuff, but, I mean, that's a pretty... Yeah, we, we've angled up more than that and right. went all the way to the top. Right. He actually adjusted it up and pointed it down. I mean, obviously, you got to, you know, you got to read the tree, but, like, as far as what angle to set it at, but... And if you're ever going up, like, sometimes you... You're going up the tree, and then, you know, you start pushing down like this yeah. before you stop, and it's going to happen. Well, you can keep on going, but you can also just do this, and then it springs back where it belongs. You know, it depends on what you're doing. But as far as clearance and figuring out this insane problem we are having. I definitely think, I definitely think that's a, you know... A solution to that that problem with that band hanging up. Hundred percent solution. Hey, look at me. Yeah, I mean you can start like this. I mean that's crazy. Yeah, I mean it's, it's just like a traditional climbing platform. Ugh, so. All right, guys. Again, I'm sorry about the rough video, but. Stan met me and uh, threw it together. I was real excited to share it because uh, I know we're going to have a lot better time this hunting season <laughs> with something that actually works really well. So, all right, give me some feedback. See ya.